Jungle Wild. My name's Aisha Hines, and I am a black actress. Have I ever had to change my appearance to book a job? Um, for the most part, um, maybe a wig. The irony of that is I went in to test um, and I had gotten through all the, the stages of the audition with my bald quaff. And we get up to the port part where we're testing and so they were like, you know, I don't know if the network, either the network or the studio, the studio and the network, they always call on each other they. I don't know if they are going to, you know, accept your hair like this. And so if you could just wig because they might, you never even know who the invisible they is, but they always have something to say. If the character calls for it, then it calls for it. If it's just to make they comfortable with me as a black woman, those are the sometimes the, the, the situations that make me sit back and, you know, want to drink a cup of tea for a few seconds. But in this particular case, they wanted me to wear a wig, um, and so I went out and I got a wig, did the thing and got my pictures done so that they felt, com they felt comfortable and gave them the pictures and did the test and everything. And first day of shooting, the first thing to go was that hair because they decided that it was about the work. Yeah, I know what you're saying is the truth. But baby, don't tell nobody. Polly season been? Have you been going out a lot? Uh, I mean, I've been going out a little bit more than usual, but I have not booked anything. Seriously? Mm -hmm. We are hot right now. There's so many casting directors looking for us. Yeah, but are they booking us for the parts or are they just looking, looking at us? Ooh, no, 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 not true. Everybody's trying to do the Shonda Rhimes thing, colorblind casting. Mm -hmm. Hello, why do you think we're here? I guess you're right. I mean, this is the first show description I've ever seen that said a Big Bang Theory meets a different world. What? Sounds terrible. <laughs> a bunch of science nerds who take over a black college. I don't know. I mean, I had to fight to get into this. Me too. I don't think they're looking for somebody that looks like us. I think they want somebody a little more racially ambiguous. Why do you think that is? I don't know. They have some kind of X-Men factor. I mean, they're really good and they, you know, they do No, 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 I mean, like, why are casting directors looking for racially ambiguous people? Oh, uh, maybe because they don't have to be specific? So what does that mean for us? We're too specific. Well, hopefully, there's somebody in there that looks like us and likes the color palette that we're bringing. Mm. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Huh. Oh, that's me, girl. Good luck. <laughs> What? Your hair. Oh, this thing? Switching it up. My agent and I both think it is a better look. Um, why? What do you mean, why? Girl, I'm actually trying to book some roles. Um, and your real hair isn't doing that? No. And this wig, it is? It's going to. Haven't you been watching TV lately? Viola, wigged. Carry On, Scandal, wigged. Gabby, Being Mary Jane, wigged. Deny, Walking Dead, dreaded, wigged. Token Black Girls are wigged. Tyler Perry shows, they're all wigged. Chocolate chicks, wigs, in, okay? I'm just trying to win with the rest of them. Hello. Um, I don't think Carrie is chocolate. And Gabby, she wearing a weave. Lupita? She's natural. Okay, she struck gold on a slave movie, so unless they're gonna do Roots, a remake of it, we are just stuck in the trenches and extensions or whatever you call the situation. Waiter! Uh, waiter, can we have menus, please? Thank you, make it quick. And some water, too? Uh, lemon, no ice, thank you. Did she hear that? Uh, yeah. what does that even mean? What I'm saying is there are roles out there for us, but we just gotta look the part to fit in, and that is what I am doing. Now this thing right here, I don't know, honey. I mean, 
is cute, but I don't know what you're gonna do with that. I mean, just. Uh, hey, well, this. your. Okay. I, your new hair, wig, whatever you wanna call this, it looks nice. Thank you. Uh, but your real hair does too. And I haven't had any problems with my hair like this. Okay, look, it's not about having problems, it's about booking the roles. Okay, I'm trying to get onto television, and so I gotta look like the actresses on television. I love my natural hair, but this is a different look and I like it. I think it's really gonna work for me. Plus, I feel like Olivia Pope. And I guess that's the goal. You wearing all white now. Don't be mad when you see me winning on TV. Fitz. Okay, I'm ready. Waffles, yeah. Carbs, no. Teriyaki, teriyaki. Waiter, hello! Oh my gosh. Is she dead? Hello, can you see me? This is ridiculous. We still haven't had water. Hello! Straight hair in the pink. Wuha, agua, what? What do I have to say? Can I see your manager, please? Just. Oh, wow. Okay, class, let's take it from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and she says that wigs and dark skinned girls are in. Really? Yeah. I better get an age in that. No, it's true. My friend, she's dark skinned, she just booked a job. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you actually believe her? You think that's true? I mean, maybe I need to be skinnier too. I'm definitely not TV skinny. I'm no TV oh, skinny. I was joking. I follow actress trends. It just seems like black girls are in. But I don't know that the complexion matters. It's more just black girls that have white girls' hair. But I like your hair. Okay, okay. If you want to wear a wig, I mean, do you, but... Come on, y'all. Y'all ain't focused? Okay, sorry, we're right. Get low, get low, get low. So, is your friend booking all the time yet? Um, I mean, she's doing all right. She's doing better than me at this, at this point. Well, you know what? Just don't overthink it. It's just hair. This class is too hard. Honestly, you should have given me more prep time for this. I had the longest night. I had to break up with Jermaine. Oh, I did not know that that was still a thing. Well, I would have told you, except you called him a fetus. That's because he is. So, how did that go? It did not go well. He flipped out. Don't talk to me. Do not talk to me. No! I believe you said that to me. Don't punch you. Don't punch you. Um, you know what? You can stay here and I'll just go to quarantine. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Embarrass me! Oh my god! And you don't think he's a baby? So, what were you guys doing before you gave him the CD? It doesn't matter. you. It expresses exactly the way I feel about you or us. Baby, there's only one song on here. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. And it's the only one that really matters. I don't ever want to see you again. Yes, mm. it uh, was really popular in the 90s. It's by Uncle Sam and it goes like, I don't ever want to see you again. I don't, mm. I don't. What's going on? We're breaking up. Are you serious? You expected me to play this? Oh yeah, it's a CD. Really? Really? There's music on here. There is. It's, it's on. Um... I can't stand you right now. I can't stand you. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? So it was before MP3s and you just put it in this thing that kind of looks like a spaceship. How you gonna pull this on me? Um, I just felt that what we had was- I brought you to my house. You're playing with my damn Legos. And I did enjoy our time on the car bed. It was really uh, memorable. But I 
might just feel like we're in two different places. <laughs> Please don't talk. Please don't talk. Um, maybe I should go. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm ready to meet a new man. So that's gonna give me a bigger butt because I mean, mama's trying to catch up man. Okay, I don't think referring to yourself as mama is the best thing for you right now. You are already attracting babies. You got me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, struggle sisters in the back. Zip it, start moving. Those chicken legs need some work. <laughs> She must be talking about she you. She must no, be talking, talking about you. She ain't talking about you. Okay. Are you talking about you? You were talking about you. No, no. You talking about you. I know that. I do not have no goddamn chicken legs. When we understand that each of us is a couture design, each of us is an individual, each person has a very specific DNA. We're all handcrafted very uniquely and very differently. And there was incredible thought put into the design of each of us. So there really is no competition. No one on this earth can be who I am and I can be no one else but who I am. And so with that, it's the same thing with the work. 10 of us walk into a room to audition. Here's the thing, if one wins, we all win. Because at the end of the day, there's still way too many of us not represented. And so if we can get one of us to win, we all win. That's one step closer. It's not about, it's, it's not a competition of who wins this particular role. Because guess what? If she gets that role, that means she's tied up and she can't get that role. So in that case, you know, each person has their door to walk into. Because at the end of the day, if the job is yours, it's yours. So there is no competition. There is no competition. One wins, we all win. Come on, body, show. 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 Come on,